Stuart Bell, I mean, just as you're here, before we get on to the question of what was revealed, do you think you should do one thing that no MPs had the courage to do today and just simply apologise for the morass? Well, there are 646 MPs, 646, four years, 1.2 million documents have to come out. And they were supposed to come out in July. They've been leaked a little bit earlier. And I would guarantee you that 646 MPs, at least 90%, will have absolutely nothing to apologise for at all. And I think that uh, it's unfortunate that certain MPs, 13 today, another 13 maybe tomorrow, maybe on Monday, selective leaking of probing is not really appropriate for our democracy. You won the court case uh, to, to get these uh, documents published, but of course, if the government had had their way, they would still have been redacted. Great chunks of it uh, blocked out. We would not have been allowed to see that the, the, the Prime Minister, for example, as I put to Harriet Harman, uh, uh, would not have, we would not have identified who he paid his cleaning money to. Well, exactly, and if the government had had its way, we would not have even seen any of these receipts uh, at all redacted or otherwise because that's always been uh, that's always been the attitude from the House of Commons officials is that we the public have no right to know what our elected officials do with our money and supposedly in our name it's our money it's taxpayers money we we need an account of it yes but there are two laws of the land one is the data one protection is for MPs, Act. one is for the rest of us <laughs> well that's a nice little debating point Heather and I do congratulate you you've done a very good job as a campaigner and that's to your credit but there are two laws of the land, data protection and freedom of information. There's a conflict between the two. You mentioned Gordon Brown's brother. His data protection was breached by that article and that revelation because he has nothing to do with his brother at all. He's not an, not an MP, he's not a Prime Minister. His data protection was breached. A right, that's, a, that's a fair point. Innocent people beyond the reach of, of politics. Well, they're not innocent because they're in receipt of the public's money and therefore they have to account for it. Uh, if that's how Gordon Brown is spending his expenses, then you know, he, th th those are the claims that he's used, the receipts that he's using as documentary evidence for his, for his claims, then the public has every right to see it, just as if I was employed by someone my boss would have a right to see what I'd claimed on. We are the boss of Parliament, the citizen, and we have a right to see that detail. But his brother didn't get the money. It was nothing to do with his brother. They shared the same cleaner. No, and no, the money went to him. The fact he paid the cleaner is another matter. Well, but it didn't go to him, did it? That's the point. And the well, second, it went via him to the cleaner. Yeah, but it's not, it didn't go to his pocket, did it? Now, let me you know, we have to be a bit sensible here. John, is there anything you know about that? any of these figures which cause you any disquiet at all? I what about Hazel Blairs, for example? <laughs> I mean, can she well, walk tall? Not, you know, well, that's from a matter, tomorrow? That's a matter. Every MP, if we had published 646 MPs expenses every MP in the land me in Middlesbrough but you other had colleagues the opportunity. wait a minute these, Heather. these Heather. receipts were meant to be published in October no, frankly no, they, they were no they weren't and it's really only the House of Commons to blame for the fact they've created a black market no, for what should be public information well the information is be, was being published on time due course 646 no, 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 let's be quite clear if she wasn't here if she didn't exist well, you wouldn't I, be sitting there having to answer these questions. The conflict between the Data Protection Act and the Freedom of Information Act was resolved in the courts. That is absolutely right, and I have no objection to Heather being a campaigner and bringing this before the courts. We have to live with this. But the point I would like to make tonight is that all of the receipts that are published are on an old system. We have changed that system. We have now a strong audit. We've reduced the claims. We've reduced the categories. So, sir, we're, we're getting a new basis.